guys, it's Sarah Jane from Bella Coco and today I'm going to be showing you how to customise an IKEA basket. Now, you can use the IKEA basket, this is called Geddes from IKEA, but if you do have any other basket that you want to customise, you can absolutely do this as well. So I chose to use some t-shirt yarn and what I chose to do was just add a bit of colour to the top and also make it so it has handles. So this is really good for carrying any of your yarn stash around or even um, projects that you have or absolutely anything. I picked up some of this t-shirt yarn called Hooked from lovecrochet.com and I picked the colours in Iced Apricot, Silver Grey and Early Dew. And I absolutely love these. I think I'm probably going to use the grey so it shows up on camera a bit better to make my basket for you today. And you will also need, let me get it out of my pocket, a 10mm crochet hook. I shall leave all of the links in the description box below of where you can get these. But let's get started. To start this tutorial, you want to begin by counting how many spaces you have in your basket, just to get a rough idea of where you want your handles to be. Now, I've actually used some sticky dots. I probably used the worst colour to show you actually. But my sticky dots I've put um, here and here because this is where um, one of my handles will be. And I've also done the same on the opposite side. It might not be completely symmetrical, but as long as you get the rough idea, that's absolutely fine. Okay, to start off, what you want to do is look where your sticky dots are, and then start in the middle somewhere between those two spaces, and attach your yarn just by tying it on. So tie it on and then pull it to one side of those spaces. And then you're just going to hold this piece of yarn here, just um, so that we can crochet it in as we're going around. So you want to hold your yarn as normal, perhaps not um, holding onto it too tight, just because we're going to be doing much bigger stitches. And you want to insert your hook into the space, grab the yarn and pull it through, um, just so we can start making these stitches. And then grab the yarn and pull it through again like so. We're then going to insert our hook into the next space and grab the yarn, pull it through, you'll have two loops on your hook and then grab the yarn and pull it through both loops on the hook and that will be one stitch and we're going to do two stitches in each of these spaces. So insert the hook again and grab the yarn and pull it through. Pull these stitches up to the top of your basket as you're doing this and then grab the yarn and pull it through both loops on the hook. Okay, so we have two stitches here and one stitch here. And this is all you're going to do for the very first round, is just grabbing the yarn, pulling it through, and then grabbing it and pulling it through both stitches. And again, into the same space, grab the yarn, pull it through, pull up the stitches, and grab and pull through all the way around to the very beginning. So I'll just show you a few more times and then you can pause the video and work your way around the whole of the basket. So grabbing it and pulling it through. So insert, grab, pull upwards, grab and pull through. So work your way to the, around the whole of the basket and I shall meet you back into this space here We've already done what will class as one stitch, so just do one stitch, uh, one more stitch in this last space, and I shall show you how to connect and work our second row. I'm now at the end of my basket, and I've just done this last stitch here, and then we have the original stitch from the first round. Now, if I just lift up um, the top of this stitch here, you can see a gap, and we're just going to insert our hook into that gap and yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook in order to connect that first round. So now what we're going to do is simply do a double crochet into each of these spaces all the way around. So you want to start off by chaining one, so grab the yarn and pull it through to class as our first stitch in this space here. And then go into the next stitch, insert the hook, 
yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, both loops on the hook. And then again into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through, both loops on the hook. So you're going to work your way up to um, the first dot that you've popped onto your basket if you've used dots, but up to the section where you want your handles to be. So if I just work around a few more, one double crochet into each space, I will come to the section where I have my dot. which is just here. So I'm going to do a double crochet in this space and what I want to do is actually just leave two spaces and then do a double crochet into this space here. So I'm leaving four stitches in total. One, two, three and four and then working into the fifth one. So I'm going to um, start my handle in this round and then we'll finish it in the second round and all you want to do is chain eight so one two three four five six seven and eight and then I'm going to take my hook, I'm going to skip four spaces, one, two, three, four, and insert my hook into the fifth space, and then just do my double crochet all the way around until I get to the next dot, and I'm going to repeat the same thing here. So pause the video, work your way round, work your next handle and then I shall meet you back at the start to show you how to join and do our last row. I'm now back to my starting point and I'm going to insert my hook into the first stitch that we created so that I can yarn over and just pull through that first stitch, might be a bit tight, and then pull through the second one the second loop that's on your hook in order to make a slip stitch and then we're going to do just one double crochet into each chain um, of this round or of the last round so chain one first of all and then just double crochet into each space If you, if you lose the stitch, it's fine, just pop your hook back in, pick up the other loop and then just pull it through. It's just because it's the thicker t-shirt yarn, it can be a bit more fiddly to work with. And it can hurt your hands a little bit as well. But I'm just going to work my way now round to the, to the handle so that I can show you what we do around this handle here. So carry on doing your one double crochet into each space. And now we have reached the gap where we have made the handle. And what you want to do around here is just do a double crochet around the actual chain itself. So usually I do about six, even though we chained eight, um, I find because the double so I find because the double crochets are bigger in size, you only need six stitches around the actual chain itself. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six and then you can just pull them along to spread them out and then I'm going to do a double crochet into this stitch just here
and then you want to continue all the way around until you get to the very beginning and I shall meet you back there. Now I've come to the end of this row and we're just going to finish off and all you need to do is grab the yarn and pull it through for a slip stitch. And then I always like to yarn over and pull through uh, just once more to create a knot. Grab some scissors and leave a fairly long tail. A bit more actually. So a good few inches. And then pull out that yarn. And what we're going to do is actually weave this into the work. So it's really easy to do. You just want to insert your hook into any space and pull the yarn through. You could actually do this with your fingers. You just have to um, weave it in anywhere you like. I would weave it in one way and then start going back the other way just to make it nice and secure. And then once you're happy, you can take off any excess. So snip off the very end. Then all that you have to do is just pull your yarn outwards a little bit. And that is your basket finished. So that is the tutorial. Really, really easy and really quick and fun to do. Um, I really hope you liked it. If you customise your basket in different ways, have a play around, please make sure that you show me. So tag me on Instagram or Twitter using at bellacoco underscore. But it actually makes it even easier for me to see if you hashtag bellacoco crochet so that I can keep looking back on them. So that is it. Let me know what you think. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.